No, didn't work. Holy crap, I'm alive. Not for very long, but I'm alive. Holy crap, how do I get out of here again? I don't remember how to get out of here, but thankfully I don't have that slow nastiness keeping me tripped. Oh god, I'm lost in here. Oh god, I'm lost. I never explore down here. I don't do that. I guess I am now. Well, this is an impromptu... Ow. An impromptu study session. Okay, I forgot they have magic. Oh god. Well, this isn't gonna end well. Pretty sure I jumped in that, but okay, fine. No. I might live. I might. Not for very long, but I might live. Where the hell am I going? I've been I know I've been here before, but I don't remember where I'm going. I think this might lead up to the to the Oh crap, what do you call those things? That you overlook the castle and No, I'm just Where am I? Oh, that's what that is. Okay, well, I have two choices. I can either start all over again with no Estus, which is what I'm going to do, or I could go back and do things the smart way and redo all of this and get full Estus back. But I never was a smart man, so we're not going to do that. I have to do every single thing perfect if I don't want to lose my mind in here by going through all this another time. Those of you who know my playstyle, however, know the perfection just isn't in the cars most of the time, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to try my damnedest. Every single fight is like a tactical nightmare for me now, because I can't block. I'm used to just relying on that crap, man. Never mind the fact if I want to talk to what's-his-name down there, it's gonna get even worse, because you gotta fight like three of those things. Never mind that- oh damn, messed up. Messed up. If I screw up there, I'm not going to... yeah. I thought the safe haven was a little bit closer than that. No, get in the fog. I hear two things, one on either side. Oh god. Look, I just... Hey, <laughs> moron. Oh, Jesus. I'll keep you out there. You stay out there. Hey. <laughs> okay, now I think this... is not a mimic. Never mind. That is a very welcome addition because I need another ring. Alright. I, I normally never go up here, just because that ring I never use, but I guess when you don't have a ring, it's better than nothing. Okay, now. I don't really remember what all's up in here. Except... Crap. 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 Come on, set off the thing. I picked just about the dumbest way to possibly get through that without getting killed. I'm not sure how I didn't die from that. By all rights, I think I should be dead, but... If you heard that loud screeching noise, I'm... That means the boulder is going to a new area now. Now, there are two ways around this, what we like to call the intelligent solution, and the one I'm going to show you now. The one I'm going to show you now, you need... I repeat, you need to have lower than 25% equip load. If you don't have lower than 25% equip load and roll like this, you're probably going to die. It's not impossible, but if you screw up, you're going to notice. So just cut corners wherever you can and get ready to move. Haha. -ha. Now we're getting somewhere. Damn it. Alright. 
If I can get through the worst part of this place, I can get I can get to the bonfire now. What's the worst part of this place? Oh, you know, just a little tightrope walking while getting fired at. Nothing really too much. Oh wait, no, that's later. Yep, that is after this. This is after the death defying. Oh, I hear something. Oh, I know what I'm hearing. I'm hearing the things in there when you have to fight in close combat. That's what I'm hearing. Oh, cr oh crap. I really don't want to use another humanity. And I'm not going to until I know I can win this. Oh, Lord, that was way closer than it ever should have been. Oh, fuck. Oh, you're shitting me. How did you get through that? I was, gonna, <laughs> I was gonna say, how did you get through that? I barely made it through that. Oh, God, damn. Okay, no, that's... That's good. That means I'm almost done with this, hopefully. I hear something and it's... I hear two somethings and they appear to both be very mad at me. I... They both appear to be very mad at me, and I keep thinking I'm going to get ambushed from the side one of these days, and oh, there we go. Thankfully, that thing is easily stunlockable. Otherwise, I would be very mad right now. Now, this is the most difficult part of the entire area. If you screw this up, and I recommend you don't screw this up, Normally, the smart play would be get your bow out and plunk away at that thing until it dies, and then all you gotta do is a little tightrope walking. As you know from my no... no ranged run, I get to do what's called tightrope sprinting. And I've never done this before, at least not without dot and seat need ranged battle. <laughs> need it. That's just the pansy way of doing things. We're gonna do things this this dumb that you know the dumbass way. Okay, no, oh. just wanna fire at me. Come on. Sometimes you can get those things to fall off, but it's not easy to do. I think I really just screwed myself royally doing this. I'm gonna see if I can get her to fall off first. I don't think I don't think this will work, but it might. Or she might have just moved farther away from the edge. I don't, I'm not sure. I don't think this will work, but... Look, I just I really just don't want to die. Actually, I might be able to get her to fall off if I go way over here. Come on. Where the hell am I at? What? What is this? I know I've been down there. I just don't know what is down there. I, I think that's a way back to the... The the pit, or what, for lack of a better term. I wouldn't take anything I say to heart, though, because I don't know jack about navigation. She's so close to falling off, damn it. Okay, now this is even thinner of a line to, of a line to walk, but okay, fine. We'll just screw it. We're going now. And that's what happens. I'm going to lose my bloodstain here. And you know what the worst part is? I get to do all that again. Okay, I got back here, and as you can see from my Estus, a lot more skillful this time around. I'm actually quite disappointed this one isn't going to be on camera because I only got hit the one time, and that was by my stupid luck, but uh... Alright. Let's do this with a little more patience this time, and hopefully not kill myself. I apparently got my bloodstain back, which I wasn't expecting, but... I still don't need ranged battle, what are you talking about? I only forgot the most basic and most important thing of this area. You gotta be patient here, and that's not conductive when you're getting fired at. Oh lord. You know, if you could stop doing that, that'd been great. Okay, we're fine. No, I... Now all I gotta do is not get caught in the fiery inferno that is this nasty area. Oh god, where's it coming? No, don't, no. Oh, thank god. Who the hell are you? 
Good lord, my ears. But yeah, anyway. <laughs> okay. Now we're into the nitty gritty, the easy part of this area. And by easy, I mean this is going to be hell because I have to take down an enemy that I've never had to do using this crappy weapon before. Priority number one. Attack the giant thing up there that's trying to kill me by throwing gasoline infused... Those things. And don't turn left there, whatever you do. That's generally accepted as a bad thing to do. You know, I was gonna say, oh crap, I know how to get that too. I know how to do that, but I gotta wait till later to get that shortcut. Okay, he just threw it, so now run. If nothing else, this area will get you accustomed to running on narrow ledges without falling off. Otherwise, you die. Okay, now, I could go face the boss right now. I don't recommend you ever do this, but you can face the boss right now through that window. If you do, however, the entire battlefield, I think, will just be littered with that giant fireball of death that you saw earlier. That, or I, as I like to call it, the napalm of death. So we're not going to do that. We get to face the alchemist big brother here. And I'm not talking about full metal alchemist for God's sake. I don't like that anime. Well, that's actually what we wanted him to do. Barak, this isn't very sporting. I don't care if it's sporting, it's what's gonna take to win. Man, run away. Yep, this is my big strategy. Make it tire itself out by hitting the wall and then hit it in the knee in the calf. No, it's not honorable. It's the, about the furthest thing from it, but... That isn't gonna do. Ah, that might do. That, that'll, that'll do, pig. That'll do. I never done that before. I always wanted to see what the follow-up heavy attacks were. You have the intelligence of a peanut, sir. Like, whoever programmed your AI should have been fired. Oh god. But be careful that you don't sit up too close to the wall, because you can get hit through the wall and probably one shot if you don't have a lot of vitality. Jesus Christ, why'd you have to prove me right? Come on. One more attack is all I need. Or not one more attack, one more temper tantrum. You can fight this guy legitimately, it's just I don't like doing it. It's a it's one of those you screw up once, you die kind of things, which I know is a lot more pre Okay, I'll fine, I'll try and do it legitimately. It's- I can't imagine this is too difficult, it's- There we go. I guess that's a lot easier, doing it the legitimate way, but that thing does not respawn. Thank God. I think the one down there does respawn, and you can kill that. So if you need, I don't know if that drops Titanite chunks or not, though. But I, know, I think you, I think that thing down there respawns. I'm not 100% on that, but I thought it did. Loud noises for no real reason, with an R A I S I N, all a fry. Okay, now if you do need help and. Uh, by help, I mean you don't want to do this boss fight because this thing will solo this boss fight 100% for you if you're lucky. There is a phantom in here that goes by Tarkus. Is it Tarukus or Tarkus? I, I don't remember. All I know is Tarkus is the best summon in this game by far. If for some reason you have trouble with this thing, he will kill it for you. But before we go down there, I want to unlock that uh, shortcut. Because now we don't have anything bugging us. We can actually go around and loot the place without any worries. And for those who want a neat little shortcut, voila, there you go. You don't have to go down that annoying little thing down there. I felt proud of myself when I found that out. Now this thing, I'm either going to be embarrassed as hell, or I'm going to do things the normal way, which means don't fall off and kill yourself. You can very easily fall here, but this is jumpable. If you're 
good enough. Not me, apparently. But doable. Something I'll never be able to use because of my challenge run here. All oh, you. <laughs> no. You know, you weren't so bad in the first area. You're not so bad now. I'm actually starting to do that a little more often. Which does not come easy to me. That was actually a misclick. I wanted to roll backwards, not to the wherever I just rolled to. Oh, there's two of you. But this guy guards a... I don't know what he guards. I don't remember being that good, but I guess I'll kill him. That was a very bad attempt at a dodge. See, normally when one dodges, one dodges to the left or right or anything else. Not trying to headbutt his opponent in the groin. But Victoria... Well, she fights dirty, man. She'll do anything to get that kill. I mean, well, not anything, but just about anything. Within reason. All's fair in love and war, right? That's the that's my motto in these in this type of situations. If we're in war, well, better you than me. That could prove useful in one fight, or actually two fights I can think of. Ceaseless discharge, maybe, if I screw up the first attempt, and maybe bed of chaos, but I don't like using it in that fight. It's not really worth it to use it in the bed of chaos fight, so I can usually just ignore it. Bed of Chaos is one of those fights where you either get it right the first time, or you got a hell of a thing coming at you the second time. If you get it right the first time, it's the easiest boss in the entire game. If you screw up the first time, it's one of the hardest bosses in the game if you don't know what you're doing. Which, if you screw it up the first time, you don't know what you're doing, so... You know, there's that. Now let's try this again, and actually get the key. So I can unlock that shortcut, so if I want to come back here, I don't have to... Oh, there we go. I believe there's also a vendor in here who's given up all hope of life. He's what we call depressed. Or just a realist, depending on your point of view. Ah, <sighs> what? What? Who, who are you? Ah, another undead, eh? I took on Sam's fortress alone. But I'm no different from those vile creatures. I was driven by conceit. Ah, you think you're different? That you can handle it? Yes, I, I remember that feeling. For I was the same. So, let me help you out. With your soul searching. Okay. I don't, I, this is a good guy to get green blossoms from. I don't remember if he's the cheapest in the game, but this is where I usually buy them. That's probably a mistake, but... If you also need large titanite shards, I guess he does sell them at an exorbitant markup, but uh, I'm not in great need of it. I'm more so cons- Do you have any weapons that- No, you have a great sword and a great axe. I was gonna say, if I have the strength for it, I might consider using the great sword, but I don't. I don't think so. Because I would need... Fort? No, I would need... Let's see. I can't do math right now, I'm tired. Nothing at all. Point is, I'm not using it. 28, that's gonna bug me now. What would that, what strength would I need for 28? It's a 50% uh, multiplier when you two hands, so that would be... Oh, crap. And now, before somebody says that, I don't think the answer is 14. Uh, 21? Strength? No, I think I'm wrong. I'm just making a, a moron of myself by guessing blind, not... I'm not thinking... Okay, you know how hard it is to do math while you're talking about a game that most people can't even play the first... That most people can't play without dying while not dying? Now, I know a lot of people go, Dark Souls isn't really that difficult. Bullpie, did you ever die the first time through the game? Oh, that's because of the cheap mechanics and instant death. You sure it wasn't just because you failed at actually fighting? Are you sure? Really? No. Yeah. I consider Dark Souls a difficult game. It can be made a lot easier if you know where the enemies are, but by no means is it a gimme game, in my opinion. But I guess I'm not as skilled as the pros out there, but... That'd be why I'm trying to practice not using a shield so I could become pro. Though, I think to become pro, by a lot of people's standards, you have to be an ass. Which I guess I fit that criteria as well, I just try not to act it. 
Or maybe that's just my bias, because every time I ever meet someone who claims they're a pro, they're always an ass. <laughs> I don't know. Point is, I'm not that good yet. As evidenced by my flailing and falling half a story and breaking my femur again. But, yeah. Now, I guess I could go back in and sit at the bonfire. And it'd probably be a smart idea. But in all honesty, if I get hit by the Iron Giant more than once, I'm having a very bad day. So, I don't really see the need in going and re refilling my Estus Flask right now. What I do feel the need to do is going over here, though, and trying to get that one weapon, Ricard's Rapier. Excuse me, Ricard's Rapier. Now that I think about it, this fight is going to be awful. Not this one, the next one, Ricard. Because Ricard likes to use a crossbow, I think. Or no, he uses... You fat ass. You purposely blocked the way. You dick. Your dickish ways will not win you any matches, sir. Oh, what the shit am I supposed to do with this situation? Well, that was interesting. Not really good by any stretch, but... You know, I'm really beginning to hate you when I have no room to move. You know that, right? I would hate for you to think that I actually like you or anything, sir, because... I don't want you to have a good night's sleep. Oh, this is gonna take a long ass time. Look, just just come up here so I can get behind you. That's all I ask. Uh, that was actually pretty cool. Oh god. God damn it. <sighs> God damn it. No, I guess it's not as bad. I I got the key. I can use the shortcut. It's uh I'm cool. No, I'm 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 fine. I I'm not mad at all. I'm uh I'm I'm chill. That's that's what I am. It has nothing to do with the fact that I'm struggling not to cuss out the computer right now. The point here is that was my bad. Oh god. That was loot. Oh, that was lucky. Die! Oh god, I gotta go through this again. Except, I guess I'll just show it because this time at least there's a shortcut where I can show you where it is. I was blind there. That was a little late. That was a little early. I guess it's better to be fashionably late. My skill level. Who'd have thought at 3 in the morning is not as much as it should be. I know, yes, I am an, I am nocturnal, folks, but uh, sometimes, well, your body just says, no, you know what, we're done. We're, we're not, we're not going to go at top skill. That would be too easy. That is just so much fun, just killing these things over and over, am I right? Wrong way to do what yeah, wrong way to roll. At least it's giving me plenty of practice fighting these things, right? That's gotta be worth something, I guess, maybe. Oh god. Right. Well, the shortcut's actually in this room. It's actually right over there, but uh right now we're not going to be trying to rush towards it. We're gonna be doing things the way we've always done things. Oh my god, I have to go all the way back. I have to go all the way back because the cage is up there. Okay, now I'm mad. <laughs>